I'm very pleased to be here with you today. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, my current research about stem cell for intervertebral disc repair. Uh, disc degeneration is the one of the main reasons for chronic low back pain, and the inflammatory response is the one of the main causes this causing low back pain. So this figure uh, shows how to uh, low back pain can develop during disc degeneration, uh, not only leukocyte, but also disc cell can produce TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta, and nerve growth factor, which can stimulate the expression of substance B and uh, brain-derived neurotrophy factor in the dorsal root ganglion, and uh, which cause uh, chronic low, uh, low back pain. To repair Degenerated disc, mesenchymal stem cell, MSC, have been considered to be one possible treatment option. So two, three main mechanisms of MSC include paracrine activity that inhibit apoptosis and inhibit pro-inflammatory factor and the restoration of degenerated MP cell and uh, the differentiation of MSC into MP cells. Uh, until now, we can find seven clinic, uh, published seven clinical trials, including our studies. In our study, uh, we recruited 10 patients with uh, chronic discogenic low back pain, and we implanted autologous uh, adipose-derived stem cells uh, among 10 patients, six patients reported a uh, good result during one year follow-up. So however, however, we know uh, in, order to, uh, in, order to, in order to develop a successful stem cell therapeutic, we have to overcome many obstacles, uh, such as harsh environment of degenerated disc and different MSC function from different donor. So we needed to find a new way to make MSC strong. To enhance MSC function, we chose metrin 3 because metrin 3 is an ECM protein involved in cartilage development and ossification it could bind collagen 9 to form a filamentous network around the cells, and it suppresses interleukin 1 beta mediated inflammation, and it can downregulate the expression of matrix degrading enzymes such as Adam TS4 and the MMP 13s. Uh, so, I, our hypothesis is that. Metron 3 could enhance MSC function by increasing secretion of a biopactor required for repair or restoration of a degenerated disc. In this study, we used adipose derived MSC. We already reported that uh, reported effect of adipose derived MSC treatment with metron 3 in red knee defect model. Uh, this figure shows the gross appearance of osteochondral defect healing 12 weeks after surgery. Uh, in this figure, the group that treated is uh, AS, as, uh, pre uh, 140 nanogram methylene 3 pre-treated ASC showed the best uh, repair. Based on this study, we established our strategy uh, first, uh, we treat the ASC with metron 3 and we generated a spheroid from metron 3 free treated ASC. Second, uh, we tested the safety and the efficacy of metron 3 free treated ASC in animal model and we will perform a clinical trial after IND approval. So to, um, uh, to optimize the to optimize the metron 3 priming dose and dur uh, dura dura duration, uh, we uh, we try uh, duration we try to uh, try to optimize metron 3 dose and duration 
Uh, according to this uh, figure, uh, 10 nanogram milliliter metrin 3 dose and five days uh, treatment showed the uh, most significant increase in chondrogenic marker, uh, such as collagen 2 and agoricon. So, uh, based on the previous study, we treated ASC metrin 3 10 nanogram per milliliter concentration for five days. Next, we uh, try to reach, uh, generate uh, spar spheroid, formation, spheroid formation, and we inoculated uh, ASC into the EJET sphere. So we could uh, spheroid formation from metron 3 pretreated ASC like this, fi uh, like this figure uh, one day after cell inoculation. Uh, also, we want we try to optimize the optimal cell density. So we compared uh, compared the effect of a different cell density, um, 125 or 250 or 500 cell um, per microwave. So this figure shows the effect of a different cell condition on apoptosis prevention. So in this figure, metron 3 primed ASC spheroid uh, error cell density 125 cells microwave uh, shows the better uh, shows the better anti apoptotic effect, and this figure shows the uh, effect of different cell condition on secretion of biofactor. According to this figure, metron 3 primed. ASC spheroid at a cell density 125 cells per microwave uh, shows the uh, better increase of uh, expression of uh, the secretion of growth factors such as TZF beta 1, TZF beta 2, and interleukin 10, which are could be favorable uh, for disc repair. So to, to Evaluate the effect of a different cell condition, metron 3 pretreated MSC, uh, met MSC spheroid, metron 3 pretreated MSC on uh, degenerated MP cells from a uh, surgical uh, patient, surgical patient. So according to uh, this figure, metron 3, uh, co um, metron 3 primed, uh, 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 we co-cultured metron 3 primed ASC, uh, spheroid with uh, uh, degenerated MP cells. According to this figure, metron 3 primed ASC uh, when metron 3 primed ASC spheroid uh, when co cultured with degenerated MP cells, uh, the result uh, uh, the the result are like that. So, uh, conducting markers such as SOX9 collagen two uh, e expression increase. Uh, however. The hypertropic markers such as collagen 2, collagen 1, and MMP3, the expression is decreased. Uh, in addition, additionally, in, uh, according to immunohistochemistry for uh, cardiolin 2 and chondroitin sulfate uh, and collagen 1, the co culture of metron 3 prime, the ASC spray with this degenerated MP cell, uh, shows the best repair of ECM component. The in, a, uh, in vivo study with rabbit model also showed the best repair in group treated with metron 3 uh, spe uh, ASC spheroid. So in conclusion, uh, to uh, make metron 3 primed ASC spheroid, we treat ASC with 10 nanogram per milliliter metron 3 for five days and we could generate a spheroid formation at a cell density of 125 cells per micro -ls. So, uh, the, according to our in vivo and in vitro and in, in, vitro, in vivo study, the metron 3 primed ASC spheroid could be better therapeutic option for disc repair in patients with chronic uh, discosal pain uh, compared with uh, uh, ASC alone. So now we complete, uh, now so far we complete the, we have completed a free clinical trial study to assess safety and efficacy in animal model. 
So now we are testing uh, methylene 3 treated ASC spiroid in a GMP facility. And uh, after Korean FDA approval, we will start phase one clinical trial in this uh, October. Thank you so much.